Hi, welcome to the stream of David TV. We have another Taya Bootcamp graduate testimonial today, and this is with Denise Robert. Hi, Denise. Hi, David. How are you? I'm doing great, thank you. How are you? I'm good. It's good to uh, talk to you again. Very nice. Very always a pleasure, David. So let's get right into it. I, I want to know first of all, what was your your biggest breakthrough from Taya Bootcamp? There were many breakthroughs, uh, big breakthroughs. Uh, not, well, there are a number of big breakthroughs, uh, but I think the one I might want to talk a little bit more about is how I cleared myself enough through the process of boot camp to actually define the trajectory of my career and to get real specific about where I want to go from here. I've been floundering and floating in my career and, and, and not really uh, clear about where I want to go. And now I have a plan. I have a coach. I know, I know what I'm going to be doing and I'm, it's already in place. It's already starting to be manifested and it's a joy and I'm so excited and I see where I'm going and I, it's wonderful. Um, the co we, in, in boot camp, right. Having to write my, my, with my, um, code, um, which was my dream of my perfect life, uh, was fabulous. The second, I think parallel to that is my, um, attitude about money and, and abundance. I have increased my faith and my trust in, in abundance. I believe now that I'm worthy. I got rid of a lot of blocks to abundance and things are flowing really well and I'm not getting myself all hung up in uh, negativity anymore about abundance. And I, um, the most important thing I got out of Taya Boot Camp was a deeper connection with myself and my source. More faith in myself. I love myself today so much more than I did before, which opens up an awful lot of energy. I cleared a lot of blockages. I understand and detuned a lot of negativity that was still sitting in my energy system. Because those got pushed out of the way, now I am free to create my life. I feel free. I'm able to create what I need to create and do what I need to do and do what I want to do. And I trust, I trust, I trust that the abundance that source is going, is flowing through me. I'm in cooperation with source and I'm excited about my life. Um, my mood has been fabulous. I have not had a, a, de a depression. Um, I just feel really good. I, I, I can't believe how much better I feel. Life is exciting. And it wasn't so exciting when I first started. In fact, I was pretty much down the spiral and now I'm not. So. Yeah. You, you, you kind of touched on depression. I know coming in, you had some issues with that and kind of yeah. give us a little uh, look of uh, a little bit of information of how things were for you coming in and how they are post boot camp. I'd be happy to the way things were before I came into boot camp, and the way things are now since I've completed boot camp are vastly improved. I came in with lots of self-doubt, um, a real, off and on a, a serious case, uh, but I'd have serious cases of depression, lack of uh, belief in myself, confusion, uh, lack of direction, not sure which way to go with uh, life. I was completely blocked to relationships. Um, I was very shut down. And I want to tell you, that's opened. That's, that's all open now. Now I'm open to, I've actually, uh, I'm, evol I'm evolving in a relationship right now. And I haven't had one in years. Um, I'm the happiest and most at peace right now than I ever have been. I, I have struggled my whole life with uh, moods and um, self-esteem and belief in myself. And I'm not struggling anymore. And now I accept and I love myself. And that opens up all the possibilities for my life. And it helped me to create my dream. And I'm one step at a time manifesting it into reality, my dream for what I want my life to look like. That's fantastic. It is fantastic. Boot camp is fantastic. It is absolutely transformative. Changed my life. It changed, it literally changed every aspect. My relationship to myself. My relationship with source has changed for the better. 
And if I might speak to that in a minute, I'd like to. Um, my relationships with my family are better, uh, are great. I mean, my, uh, there are people that have dropped out which, uh, of my life, which is a good thing because they no longer were resonant. And I was able to fly, float with that rather than sink with that. So when people leave your life, it's a big deal. It's an emotional thing. Um, yeah, I lost a friend of 20 some odd years. I thought she was my best friend and, and she left my life under, it uh, wasn't pleasant. Um, but I accept it now because, okay, we're not resonant anymore. This is, life hits me and then I go for a minute. I get like shaken for a minute and then I go, oh yeah, everything's all right. I have this inner equanimity now, this balance that I didn't have. Well, to touch on the friend thing a little bit too, I, I think, um, not to get too deep and personal with it, but you know, we talked about this, that when you start really loving yourself and really going up your spiral and thinking very highly of yourself, your point of attraction is different. Mm -hmm. And there may be people in your life that you, you, that are your friends that maybe are no longer a vibrational match to that either because they're just not able to get themselves that high and loving themselves, or they don't hold you in such high regard I know I've had friends in the past that have disappeared and I realize now as, as I worked on myself and got more up my spiral and loved me more, they weren't as comfortable with the more confident version of me. They liked the, the, the more yeah. you know, down the spiral version of me for their own reasons. And yeah. that's a big epiphany, right? It, it, it's a, this is, um, I've been on a, a healing journey for a long time. This is not the first time this has happened to me. This has happened to me before. But I have to tell you that this one took me a couple of weeks to kind of process and make sense out of and get to the get to the other side of. But I didn't go into a depression. I didn't, you know, I didn't get like, you know, emotional and stuff. I just kind of took it in stride pretty much, although uh, I had some feelings, you know, I had, but I didn't go down the spiral. I had feelings without going down the spiral. Who knew that was possible? The vibrational spiral work that I did in boot camp was the best experience for me because I always thought of myself as defective because my mood swung up, they swung down, they swung upside down. Uh, my moods were all over the place at times. Sometimes I was, you know, calm and cool. Other times though, I was up, down. Being able to get my energy and my vibration and my mood under my own control through vibrational spiral work that I learned in boot camp has completely altered my inner life and has Im uh, improved everything um, in my outer life as well. It, it's made a huge difference in my life. Feeling comfortable with myself, feeling at peace, uh, not get going into drama, not getting dramatic, not feeling dramatic, just kind of going along. Peace is nice. You know, peace is nice. I haven't always spent a lot of time in peace and I've been feeling really peaceful since week four. Um, week, couple, first couple of weeks were a little tough, uh, really tough. I'm going to say they were really tough, but since week four, it's been, life has been good, peaceful and productive. And the more peaceful I am, the more productive I am and the more creative I am. And the more I'm able to attend to the things that are important in my life, relationships, career, um, hobbies, friendships, whatever. It's all, everything's improved. Very good. And I know that um, I, I always say that too. I don't sugarcoat. Taya boot camp is work. You're, oh, you're going to make yeah. these things, positive changes if you don't get in and do some, some work to clean some things up. It is work. It's, it is it is a boot camp. Um, it's just, if you imagine army boot camp and having to do a lot of exercises and doing them over and over again until you get them right and having us, you know, even though I'm my own taskmaster really, because you're not following every move I make. Uh, I'm my own taskmaster, but if I want to get what I want to get out of the boot camp, I have to work. I have to feel the feelings. I have to write. I have to journal. I have to, you know, do all all this stuff. Manage my spiral, um, and I did. I did a good, thorough job, and it completely changed my um, lifestyle too. Because now I do energetic spiral work all the time. I went. I started down the spiral this morning. I went, oh, okay, well, let's try, let's try going up the spiral before we decide to get sad and start crying. And I, I had got teary. I was getting some emotions about something. And, uh, well, I don't, I don't have to cry. I did all the spiral work I had to do today and, and overcame that little challenge. And uh, I had a great day. 
Isn't it an amazing tool when you can learn to, to lift yourself from any depth, really? Oh, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. I, I, I can't believe that all these years I was under the, un, under the assumption that my moods were um, out of my control, that I was a victim of moods. I wasn't a victim of people. I, I haven't really thought that way about myself. Well, my moods, I felt like were willy-nilly, made no sense. Well, <laughs> come to find out. Um, I do have something to say about how my vibration goes every day. I have a lot to say. I get to, I get to manage it. And I also get to cry if I need to. It's not like I have no feelings. Yeah. I well, have, you know, this doesn't deliver a life of perfection. It just lets you manage polarity and manage what's going on in your but life. But sadness or crying is appropriate sometimes. You know, there are reasons to cry. I'm human. And I, that's another thing that I got from, um, a big thing that I got from boot camp was understanding that, being human's okay, and having feelings is okay, and having uh, making a mistake is okay. I don't have to go down my spiral because I make a mistake or because I have a sad moment. Somebody dies and I feel sad for 24 hours or 48 hours because I miss them or whatever. That's okay. Yeah, Sorry it's, to it's okay feelings. to have an ego. That's not down the spiral to have a sad day because somebody died. That's human, and right. human is okay. Being human, I am okay flawed a little yeah you know but it's okay it's all good um i'd love to say what i've learned uh, some of what about what i've learned from the stream the stream is what brought me into boot camp sorry david it wasn't you no they're always was, a star of the show it I was it was charm. actually they, they are source energy i understand stream stream brought me into boot camp and but if you had been a different person i may not have gone along with it anyway no you were great you're great i, I think david's done a great job but what i learned from the stream was to take all the judgment out of life because everything happens the way it's supposed to and when i feel a little down and i'm going, moving a little bit down my spiral instead of going oh no i think i'm getting depressed oh no what's going to happen oh where am i going to you know where is this going to take me and i go oh DTS, you know, down the spiral, um, just uh, uh, the law of polarity is working. Here it is, law of polarity, and I can objectify it. And I don't have to, I don't have to um, sync with it. I have choices. I, I you, the, the, you know, the stream teaches me about the choices that I have to make at any given moment. The, the, the stream also blessed me with the idea that source does never ever judge. They're not telling me that this is a blessing and this is a curse and this is right and this is wrong. They're saying you get to do whatever you want. And there's no judgment. We don't judge you. And even though I thought I had gotten rid of all that, I hadn't. I still had a lot of my old religious upbringing nagging at me. And I did a lot of writing in boot camp on that. So Boot camp, uh, the stream has helped me heal my relationship with source. I've always had one, but it hasn't always been as healthy as it is right now. It's really strong. Source is strong inside of me right now. And it's because I know now that source isn't judging me. And I know the little girl inside of me knows that. Like to my bones, I know that. There's no more judgment and no fear. It's just beauty it's beauty i have a wonderful relationship with source and the stream uh, a lot of the stream teachings are what changed those attitudes in me well my first interaction with david was after i had already read his book read the book the stream so i was already very impressed with david and all the challenges he'd faced and overcome with joy i was very impressed with how uh david was able to listen to the law of attraction, understand and work the law of attraction in his life at a very young age. That inspired me uh, a lot. And, and the fact that David has overcome all this stuff was really, really inspiring. And David's a real guy. He's a real person. He doesn't pretend to be anybody he's not. Um, we can drop F-bombs and he doesn't blink. Um, we can say what's on our mind and we can talk about whatever we need to talk about. And uh, David is professional, but very accessible and open and kind and, um, and smart. David's been a pleasure to work. David, you're a pleasure to work with. You're easy to get along with and uh, always helpful. Always, whenever I have, wrote, I have done, sent you a message, a private message, or reached out to you in any way, you have always, every single time, gotten back to me. 
maybe I waited an hour or two or a half a day, but you're there, you're there, you're there to walk people through stuff when they need it. And you're also there to say, I think you can do this. Why don't you try and get back to me later if you're not successful? So you knew, you kind of know when people need to do their own work and when you can, when it's right for you to intervene. And uh, that's been super helpful too. The times that you'd said, Denise, I think you can do this. I don't think you need information from me or the stream. I think you can do this. It wasn't the answer I wanted at the time, but when I finally over within 24 hours, I overcame that particular issue. That over, and I was overjoyed, and I thought, you know, David's smart, what a smart guy to say, no, this one's on you. You need you, this is your work. You this is your, what you need to do. So um, it's been wonderful, and uh, David's very personable, easy to get along with, and David, you're great. Thank you. Thank you for being sweet and friendly and accessible. Thank accessible. you. That was very nice. Thank you. You're welcome. So to wrap up with all of those wonderful words, I don't know if there's anything left to be said, but what would you say to someone who is thinking about joining uh, Thai Boot Camp? The first thing I would say, I would ask them is, what does, it, what does the idea of joining Boot Camp feel like inside of you because I think boot camp is for a lot of people but I don't think it's for everybody and I would only want people to sign up if it was really really resonant I asked one person um, from the abundance breakthrough pet uh, he reached this guy reached out to me and, and I said on a scale of one to ten how deeply do you resonate to the message of Taya um, the stream and David and he said 11 out of 10 and I said okay and good at that point then i will say to, if you are resident to this program your life will change if you do it and it will change for the better you will have skills every that you can use every day your life relationships career everything will become clearer it comes from being up the spiral and you'll learn how to manage a spiral there's there's do it i just say do it if it's resonant to you do it um only good will come of it I guess that's it. Very good. Well, thank okay. you so much, Denise. I appreciate you taking your time to share with all of us your experience in Taya Boot Camp. You've had amazing results, and it's it's exciting to watch. And I, I know that we're friends now, and I can't wait to just watch you soar in your business and life in general with these new tools. Thank you so much, David. I really can't thank you enough. It's it's been a it's been a pleasure. It's been a it's been a difficult ride at times, but it's been more than that. It's been a pleasure and a gift. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste.